Green, what are you up to? Yeah, well. Get what? I had to skip my, you know, my, my, my lifting. Well, some of us have shit to do in the day. Right. Start my day at the gym. Uh, so, essentially, Jerry wants to interlock the whole front of the building, but I, I think that, like, over here, I wouldn't mind putting some rocks, and maybe we could have, because he wants to be able to display the, um, the bikes and the quads and the side by sides on like some rock settings so that like because when you can see it all from the highway right because this sign will come down and then the building will be the sign and then he could put the all the things on display up front plus they roll all these motorcycles out every day onto this cement pad and over there so he wants to roll them all out over here so we need to have enough room for some motorcycles too have you met Jack before? Yeah. Oh. Christmas parties. Oh, there you go. So Jack has so the mo. Are this you, is the Mosier. No, to I'll show you. Yeah. No, not even to there. It. It needs to come. A bit past the building, because. We, they need to roll the bikes, they come out of the shop, and they need to roll them over here. So, but I thought like, probably, like, say like here. So if it came off there and then went straight across, and then, I don't think we need to go to the end of the building, maybe we just go to the end of the window. Just to cut down on the, like, the far window, we'll go to the end of it. But then I also... And then we want armor stone and, 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 some, and some rugged looking plants. Yeah, we want, we want some spots of armor stone to display the, the side-by-sides. And then I think here we could do, like on the very corner, we could do a really nice, like, a, you know, maybe you could get two side-by-sides here somehow. Like, and then this will all just be flat and motorcycles. I'd like to send him a drawing because it's going to be not, but it's basically just a big box. But we could get an exact square footage too to send him as well. This is the Mosier. It's going to Mosier this bitch. Fuck you and your zip level. Jack's going to Mosier the fuck out of this. Yeah, you're actually really going to so, like. So, so, so some big. Some big rocks to, to have a front. Or maybe we do granite boulders or something because it's a bit more the only, natural. The only problem with granite boulders is it's really hard to find ones that match. It know? is hard to find ones that match. You know, armor stone matches, right? It's all cut out of the same quarry. But nature doesn't match. Okay. So maybe Jack, like if he started here. Like if we started here, grass seeds growing. We went off of here. And then Nancy can manipulate it a bit, but if we went off of here straight out. To maybe here. And then sort of straight across. Right here? Yeah, and then just, we'll just go straight across and then in. Yeah, maybe we can mark out the, like go around the garden in front of the hydro box and then maybe in that area, Nancy. Way back, we can get out with the garden. Yeah, because I, I, he's not going to display bikes in there, so we'll probably just put River Rock or something. Let's have a look. In, I don't know, remember exactly what's in there. Yeah, so it's already pretty river rocked, but the are gonna die, they might as well survive. Sure. There's the new bug in town, it's called the box tree moth, it's killing all the boxwoods. It's killing all the boxwoods. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I wanna to go to the far edge of the window and then leave the haunt or maybe just go to the end of the building for now, because that's something we can always cut back.
Well, we can re like we can recommend some low-lying plants too. Like I know Jerry doesn't want anything that's going to grow up in front of the building, because obviously the building is beautiful. So. We can grow up in front of the hydro box though. Yeah, that needs to get covered. Maybe do some like naturalized planting around the armor stones. Grasses. Grasses, sure. Your yeah. favorite. Grasses. Perfect. Let's put grasses in. Grasses and rocks go good, go good together. Absolutely. Let's do grasses. You need a mosier. It's going to give you an exact outline of this entire building. You could do it for a backyard. You could do it for anything. Look at this mosier go. And it gives you all the elevations. Mm. It does it all for $783. Fuck you, Zip Level. Well, but it's also like, if you were in a backyard on a weird angle, you could lay out the whole backyard, it'll give you the whole shape. Like it'll, input, instead of... So what's, what, what, what's the output of this? What do I get? Do I get a drawing? What do I get? Do I get a bunch of He'll give you a send a PDF for the exact... He's going to give you a PDF of the exact layout and then the building will be behind it. Like you'll have to put the building in. Yeah. But you're going to get the exact layout of the whole box that we want to do. And then you can put it in front of a building and manipulate it. Like the building doesn't need to really exist in the drawing, sort of. But then you'll be able to change it however you want. Jack can show you what you're going to get. He'll show you what you're going to get, Green. So do you understand what the goal is here? Yep. The goal is to sell motorcycles and quads and... What's a quad? It's like a four-wheeled motorcycle. And then a side-by-side -side is one where two people ride in it side-by-side. -side. Is that... Is that, is that a motorcycle with, 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 with the, the ride em cart thing on the no. side? No. A quad is like a little car. That you, you no, know, a quad is like a little bike with four wheels. That's why it's called a quad. And then a side-by-side -side is a little car where two people sit side-by-side. -side. And then you drive. I've been in... Chris Mills is a heavy side-by-sider. -side They're fun. Well, I just rode in it. I didn't even drive it because it was horrifying at first. So I'm not really a, sending myself out like that. So the other thing I would like to do is like, instead of hauling this dirt away to make this a bit less expensive, I'd like to cut this dirt down and like build like a berm out, berm. like even out the grade a bit and build a berm. And then that way, if they wanted, they could put them on the berm too. And then the rocks become part of the berm. They're not just sticking out of the ground. And we just need to bring the eight ton and move the, the we don't have to haul it all out because hauling all the dirt out will be the most expensive part. We can, we can be dirt neutral on this site. You know what I'm saying? I like berms. Yeah, like you put a berm here and then they could park a car on it and they can put some armor stones or boulders or whatever. Nice cup. All right. Martin got it at a golf tournament. Seems like something, like something he would get at a that's golf tournament. the company he works for, Green. Ah, nice. And so he gave me his cup. You want to see what the Mosier did for you? So I bumped it in the process and it offset this one side so it's off up here we have a general idea of yeah what it is. so you just need to make these lines straight can you give me dimensions yep yeah can you send it to her in inches and feet i don't know if i can do it after the fact but uh you might have to do a conversion let's see oh there we go We should get a sponsorship from Mosier. Honestly. Look at this dimension here. Oh, sorry. That's 19.5. But this back line is sort of like you need to straighten the lines a bit. Obviously, the building's not crooked. Yeah, so. But now you have a general idea of the area. What I can do is I can go through and delete these lines in the middle and make it a straight line so I can ignore 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 so now we've got a straight line it's 125 feet 
ignore that one, ignore that one. And then on this side, ignore this one. See how it looks. But so that's like a little rock there, but I think I bumped it with this rock right here. So, so you measured in front of the river rock? Yes, yeah, so I measured in front of the river. It's actually black granite. Try to keep on point. You called it river rock. I, I you did. did. You did. I did. did. Well, it's actually black granite. So this is the building and that's the... Yep. This is that planter with all the boxwoods that are going to die. It's 125, we've got 20. Over there. Maybe we should extend that out. Can we just extend it out without doing a re but make it a bit more even? I guess it is going to be thinner. Also, say show us the surface mesh. Show a preview. Let's see, it'll give you uh, an idea of the morning, Glenn. Uh, it's just you and Wazir there today. So it's got the skin on it. Okay. All right. If you see Wazir, then I, 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 he, I don't think he's ever been loaded in the back before, so. Just help him out, all right? Yeah, so okay, thanks, Glenn. All right, okay, bye. I don't know if you care about any of this. Okay, sweet. I only care about the outline of it. So basically, it's, one, it's a flat surface. So yeah, but I, I think, too, I want to like anticipate taking the dirt and maybe moving some of it into this area where it's falling pretty steep and then building some berms or whatever and building some berms behind these gardens. Which are boxwoods, which are going to... I think the gardens just get redone. Like, if you're, if you're moving the soil anyways and making berms, that'll wipe out all the dirt. Uh, probably not. And, and they're boxwoods. They're, they're going to get the bug and they're going to be dead. Let's just leave the gardens out of this for now. Focus we'll, on the new we'll gardens. Just, we'll just let them die. Let them die. Focus <laughs> on the new gardens. Why the, This is what the architect came up with, so... But here we can, I mean, if we have to haul a bit of dirt away, but if we can build some berms and put in some rocks, I that's mean, optimum. In, in theory, those are fine gardens, but the architect clearly is not up on this. We well, they probably did this drawing six years ago. Yeah. For this. Yeah, the box came off just the last two years. It's kind of doing this. Kind of like the way that the uh, Emerald Ash Borer wiped mm. out ash trees. That's going to devastate a lot of uh, the bridal path. Oh, my God. Well, there is there is the control. There's a product called BK, BTK, and if you spray every three weeks, you can control. That seems like something people will do spraying every three weeks. Well, it, it, if you got it, it's good money for for people like Hilaire that have maintenance. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, so you're good. I'm good. I'm just going to take some pictures. Okay, you take some pictures, Jack. Do you want to look at that thing? Yeah, let's check it out. Take some pictures, Green. This isn't an emergency, but whenever you have time. Emergency? It's not an emergency. But I'm saying whenever you have time. I don't know how busy you are. I got a few things to do. I'm running out of steam now, as in I'm feeling burnt out. So then do some drawings. What is the problem? I don't, I get tired of thinking. Oh. <laughs> this is a big box with some armor stone. I'm tired of thinking. Okay. <laughs> 